Hello everybody, welcome to a PSD to CSS online video tutorial. Um, I'm Sean and uh, today we're going to look at a uh, new feature, brand new feature, I think it's probably the best feature we've added so far. It's, uh, it's a way to get image galleries or slideshows um, onto your page uh, with writing no code whatsoever, very professional uh, image galleries. Um, we use a, a plugin to the uh, jQuery uh, JavaScript uh, engine that we use um, called Lightbox, and uh, that's that's the details of it. But the fact is, you don't have to know any of that. You don't have to download any scripts. You don't have to write any code. You just draw pictures of uh, of your thumbnails for your page, and uh, make sure you got some big pictures to view that match them, and uh, and it wor and convert your uh, PSD file to uh, HTML, and uh, and you get a very professional slideshow. It just works just like that. Don't have to write any code at all. So let me show you how you do that. So, the first thing you need to do, oops, oops, we don't need that, remind me in a month. First thing you need to do is have some images that you want to display. This is a folder on my computer here. I've got uh, some JPEGs here called Big Sur and Flamingos and Guitar and Palomar. Um, so I have a number of JPEG files here. These happen to be 640 by 480 images, roughly. Um, you can use any size you want, but uh, uh, you know something that will fit on the screen is probably a good idea. And then I have this one uh, PSD file that I call Lightbox. Let's take a look at it. I'll show you what it looks like real quick here. Okay, it's it's pretty simple uh, Photoshop file. Um, just got uh, some words here, some just some text about the fact that this is uh, my Lightbox demo, a and I have some layers for these thumbnails. Now these are not the actual JPEG files from the fo from the folder here, but I did make them out of those JPEG files. These are these are much smaller, of course. They're just the thumbnails uh, to match those JPEG files. Um, as with everything else for PSD to CSS online, uh, the trick is in how you name your layers. Uh, so for each of these thumbnail layers, what we've done is, uh, let's see if I can zoom in here. Oh, well, maybe I can't. Oh, here we go. Um, what, what you need to do is make layers for the thumbnails that have underscore LB thumb in the name. Uh, LB for light box and a thumbnail thumb. Um, later on we'll have other kinds of thumbnails for different reasons, but so we have underscore LB thumb and all you do is you, for any uh, any layer that's going to be a, a, a thumbnail for uh, for one of these images, uh, you just name it something LB thumb and the other part of the trick is that the first part of the name has to match the JPEG file. So here's panda underscore LB thumb. I have a panda.jpg file that I just showed you over in the uh, over in that folder. Here's a big sur LB thumb. I have a big sur.jpg file over in the folder. Here's flamingos underscore LB thumb. There's a flamingos.jpg over there too. There's here's porter.lb thumb. Or I'm sorry, porter underscore LB thumb. There's a porter.jpg file in the folder as well. And that is it. All you gotta do is name those, just put them on your anywhere in your image. They don't have to be rectangular, they can be at an angle, they don't even have to really be thumbnails of the image that you want to display, they just need to have this naming convention. Um, so this is obviously a very simple uh, PSD file, so uh, what we'll do is is uh, we'll convert it. Let's see. Oop. Let's see, let's go to my desktop here. And Lightbox. And I will grab that file, upload it, and it will churn on. It's not a very big file. Most of my demos are pretty small. They, they convert pretty quickly. You can use fairly large files, up to 8 megabytes if you're registered. Um, and uh, I did a test recently. It's the number of layers you can add is about 130, which is a ridiculous web page. You don't need 130 layers in a, in a web page, CSS layers usually. so. So any kind of real web page should be easy to do. Here we go. It's all finished. Um, we could uh, we could look at it with this link here, and sure enough, it does look the same. If I click on these though, my uh, my JPEG files aren't on the server. They're only in this folder here on my desktop. So what I'm going to do is download the the zip file. They have to be in the same folder. You know the the generated code needs to be able to find those JPEG files. So uh, so what I'll do is I'll just download all the stuff that got generated and I'll put it over here in the same folder with uh, with my JPEG files 
and that's it. Now from here, it will work because uh, all the generated code is going to be able to find these JPEG files. So I'll show you. I'll just double click on my index.html file here. So uh, I've got Firefox running this file from from here on my local drive. You just click on one of these, and sure enough, we get a nice professional light box going through the various images. You go to previous and next. I can close it and go pick another one. And I didn't write a line of code. I just drew some thumbnails. I just made sure I named the uh, the layers right. And uh, and you get a really very professional, really great looking, uh, really great looking uh, slideshow. So uh, that's my favorite f feature in uh, PSD to CSS Online uh, to date. So uh, I hope you all enjoy it and uh, and have fun. Thanks.